Mm-hmm. Welcome back, guys. Here on the casting bench, joined by uh, RDU and Tice. Nylum, Nylum boys. Mm-hmm. Nylum. You guys are both out there, aren't you guys? Yes. We oh, are. That's a bummer. Well, uh, right now, uh, one of these players that we're about to see, um, either uh, Johnny Druid or Show, is is on their way out mm-hmm. as well. Um, <laughs> that's so mean, Craig. And one is going further. Uh, potentially, to the, potentially. To the, yeah. So well, this yeah. this is the losers match, um, and then uh, the winner of this is going to play uh, Life Coach, mm-hmm. which lost the the winners match, and the winner of that match will go on to uh, matches tomorrow. Mm-hmm. The nice. Playoffs. They go um, in the money. Yeah. Yesterday we saw uh, a very different Johnny Drew than we did today. Yesterday uh, Johnny was playing like super slow, like 90 second turns, unbelievably <laughs> slow matches. And today uh, I literally witnessed the fastest 3-0 I've ever seen in in a tournament against him, unfortunately, which is why we're, <laughs> mm-hmm. we're seeing him again. Maybe he still gained some confidence and that's why he started playing faster. I still think it's better I, to play slower. I, like I don't think I don't think his games had anything to do with confidence, but uh, yeah, you're right. It that's, that's probably also fact. a bit about the matchups. Yeah. Sometimes like it can happen. That, that's yeah. conquest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like if you get the bad matchups at start, you tilt. Like that happened to me. I got like bad matchup into bad matchup, and then even if I counter, I still tilted a bit. Some bad draws, mm-hmm. some missed lethals. <laughs> I am? Oh, we're about to get into it. All right, well let's let's do that. First game is up, but I was I was uh, wanting to look up how the uh, qualifiers of this tournament have done. We have three qualifiers. We have um, Johnny Druid, of course. We have uh, Ignite, mm. and I think it's Ostkaka. I don't know how Ostkaka is doing. I don't know if we. Oh, he beat Farbat. Uh, yeah, he won the first game. Oh, he won the Our, first game. That's yeah. where we're at so far. And the but second I- game is going yeah, on. Uh, Ignite, Ignite qualified first out of his group, so Ignite is through. Um, so Johnny might might be. Uh, I think he's least likely to go fourth out of the three mm-hmm. qualifiers so far. So you got a warlock versus warlock here. Um, it's a really s- interesting matchup. Yeah, it's 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 the handlock-ish kind of warlocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw that uh, life coach had the the zombie chow in it. What do you guys think about that? You like you, you guys like zombie chow in handlock? Again, Ta- Taj knows. Yeah, like in so matchup, the card is so insane that it does so much work. It gives you some early like the the turn four or five. It are it will be always powerful turns, and sometimes you just need the one the the one and the two drops just to survive a bit of the early game. And for the handlock, like sometimes it is so important, otherwise you are dead at turn four or five. Mm-hmm. But in some matchups, it's a terrible card. Like in the mirror, you don't even want to draw the card at all. What do you think about that hand from uh, from show? If he was uh, if, second, if he mount. wasn't on the coin, it was an insane end because you play one on turn four and one on turn five even with a tap. Mm-hmm. And on the coin, it's a bit harder to pull it off. You can coin it out. Oh wait. Oh yeah. You can try it. Come on, everyone tried it once. Be honest. I, I tried I it also. I didn't. Uh, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, thank you for telling you me. You can guys. maybe you can try it if you do it really fast. No, you, you can coin. You can coin it out, but uh-huh. it has to be against. I don't know. I saw it in a game where um, I don't even think it was a rogue. I think a mage did unstable portal into um, the rogue legendary. I don't even remember the name. Gallowix. Uh, and okay. then the coin triggered Gallowix's coin. Oh my god. Which oh, really? allowed him to play uh, Mountain Giant on turn three. That's brilliant. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, for now, like. It is you, possible. You see Sho also playing a Chow, and it's actually pretty okay now for him. He has a turn. Like, now he can still tap and play it on turn three, but it's pretty good. He can coin into Twilight Drake. Yeah, but we also see that w- the, the Nerubian Egg means that, um, that Johnny is playing the. The more demon lock-ish side of hand lock. Their decks are really different. Johnny likes like yeah, demon and uh, show runs more aggressive with giants. Mm-hmm. Which version is favorite? Taij, I think, played the most out of us. I would say, lock. yeah, like in the mirror, it is. Uh, I would normally say that the uh, the more greedy warlock is always favorite. So. Okay. It sounds a bit, but sometimes like sometimes you can really rush it down if you really got uh, the counters like the big game hunters, the all. But normally the greedier deck. It's a better deck, and we see a really important card for Shell, the Emperor. Yep. That's insane in the mirror. Not only because you can put it out on turn five in his case, I think you do. but also yeah. it's really hard to deal with for a warlock. I think you absolutely put it on turn five. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, Johnny has double Shadow Flame and Hellfire and PO, which are all really good combo cards. You know what I like? I think I like a Twilight Drake here. Do you? Yeah, because I think the Emperor is really effective on those uh, Mountain Giants. It's affecting. It is actually affecting on everything, but especially now in this. Yeah. 
Well, you can get the mountain giants mm -hmm. to two in the right situation on, on a later it's, turn. It's also a bit like, what did show Saul already? Like, did he see Big Game Hunters from? Uh, or did he, yeah, or did Come he on, every, everyone's got Big Game. Oh, the second PO, that can be insane. Imagine like double POing the egg and then shadow flaming it to deal with the giants. I yeah. wonder if he plays like any combo, but I don't think so. And Demon Lock doesn't really need like an Arcane Golem or a Faceless combo. I, mean, I feel that it does against the really slow decks, like uh, when you play against Warrior, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. I, I think he has it. I'm not really sure. Not sure if my memory is that good, but he might have the combo. We saw Savish having the combo, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think we've seen you Faceless. Saw having the yeah, combo. I, it happened to me. Like he didn't show much of his deck because he lost twice really early with the deck, mm -hmm. and I was writing all, uh, down all the cards. And then except uh, for those very important ones. Yeah, I didn't saw any face. <laughs> I, like I saw one power overwhelming, but that was yeah. it. So a power is standard when you play the eggs. But so. yeah, double heal bots, and I was like, uh. and then I didn't play around it. So yeah, Savish still lost the six afterwards. So. Happened. Uh, yeah, here you can do coin Tharson next turn tap into no. double mountain giant, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure about it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a no, you cannot play double because you played the first one and the other oh, one. Oh, right, right, right. Free. Right, right. I expect him to play the second Twilight Drake. You, you see, you yeah. can't deal if, with it. If the Twilight Drake was good enough last turn, yeah. it's great this Maybe turn. with a lot of macro. Like, he, he played StarCraft. Oh, played them both really uh, fast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With like a dual mouse. No, but a, a big game hunter is pretty risky now. Uh, or, uh, I mean, a giant, if there will be a big game hunter. And Twilight Rage feels less risky now, and it's it's perfect for the curve. Okay, giant goes down, getting the pressure out. No regrets. Oh, those tower sun on this side can be impressive. The you PO will cost you. Can mana. you take that much damage though? Wow, but every, everything gets so cheap. Like you take the damage for one turn, but you next turn you stabilize health. and you also heal from zombie chow. Yeah, but for that turn you're at six health. Don't you think that's a little low? Mm -hmm. Like you're dead to dark bomb hellfire. You're at eight. Is it eight? Yeah, it's eight. And there is a zombie chow that if it dies, yeah. you you heal for like five. You don't die to hellfire. So oh, it is eight. It is and eight. Yeah. Even if it was six, you don't die to hellfire because zombie chow heals you. No, so if you no, I don't think it does. I think you die. I think when you're oh. dead, you can't get healed back up. You you could with the paladin weapon. Yeah, but I think that's because it happens at the so same time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here, when the zombie chow dies, the player's already dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. My bad. I I need to play more arena. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like he can also play, like, Savannah's isn't bad either here. On a board like this. I like Tauri Sun because yeah, it's next just turn so you just weak. go for the power plays. Mm. I think I like Tarsan too. It's greedy, but it might work. Powerful, powerful. Go, well. Going for the clear this turn, it seems. Do you Shadow Flame or do you just. I think you do. If you go for this, you Shadow Flame. Come on. When, when would you not? You could just trade into the Giant. Just saying. Man, that was, that was you crazy. Give the chance of Moltons in the next okay. turns. Well, he can already play Mountain. The pressure is really huge, and that's why the greedier, gi the greedier giant deck, as Ty said, is better most of the time. Yeah, he does it right here. You want to get the extra life on your Twilight Rake, but you can't because you yeah. <laughs> have to use the coin and the giants. Eight well, is yeah, yeah, four eight mana for four eight, I guess that's all right. Yeah. So. <laughs> The thing is, you actually have another Shadow Flame. <laughs> Void. Yeah, Void but it's hard for him. It's, it's hard now to pull it really off. I He's always one man of little, fr uh, one man of uh, good combos. I don't know if it's actually that hard because if you can, if you can suicide the Void Caller before Shadow Flame and then Shadow Flame Malganis. I don't really think that's the best target for Shadow Flame. You want to keep Malganis alive, but there's no way Malganis is staying alive. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think you just drop Sylvanas and go for face here. I just think it's a really good answer to, to Giants. Like, yeah, it shows how to really good hand with all these big creatures, but that's that's all the big creatures in the deck. If if you do even a Malganus Shadow Flame, which is a bit wasteful, as you mentioned, like there's, there's nothing else left in the in the deck. Yeah, seeing that he's really greedy, as you said, he might not run double owl, so that's a good chance to just play Sylvanas. I think jamming Sylvanas in is probably the best and just going for face. Mm -hmm. Like, what can he do to Sylvanas? Okay. Yeah, he, he sees the Sivanas play. Or? 
Yeah, it feels maybe a bit risky, like it's weak to all or... But... I don't think you can really play around that now. It's one owl and... 70 not cards. E not even half of the deck has been drawn. So, it's a good chance to not have owl, your opponent. Mm -hmm. like now you're in a really clumsy spot. Yeah, it's like, oh, the Sylvanas. Can you do some Hellfire shenanigans and play Molten Giant? You need Mortal Coil for that. Oh, well, you can't. You can trade both. Yeah, you would need Mortal Coil. And then if it's if, still if the giant uh, gets stolen, you trade Twilight Drake and then you trade Giant into Sylvanas, mm. and then if the giant gets stolen, you get just Hellfire and double Giant, and you still have one more like, mana. So that means you can tap and play both. Yeah, the only taunt he has is Belcher. I can I can understand here, like if he, if he ignores it, Sylvanas. It's really risky, but if you play like a Watcher, a three five Belcher, it feels a bit safer. This uh, this looks pretty bad. That second Shadow Flame is gonna clean up quite well. Yeah, Sidvana mm -hmm. straight in the Shadow Flame, and play a caller. Yeah, seems perfect. Pretty insane. That's why you need to deal with Sidvana's on your turn. Is there anything we're missing here? That just seems way the best play. Like you have eight mana, so you you are looking really fast to the combos from. He's thinking about not damaging the giant that much. He's thinking about something with Hellfire, but for that again, you are risking to take yeah. the, the Watcher, and you don't want that. Yeah, or a four one. No, the Shadow Flame is the best play by far. He might be thinking of something like Void Color Shadow Flame, but that's uh, not that yeah. appealing. <laughs> no, Flaming Sylvanas is the best here. Gianni has to see it. Yeah, heal bots. Yeah, like Emperor, but. Uh, it's, uh, double Shadow Flame. That's really weird, too. I think, like, every Demon Lock list I've seen is double Hellfire, one Shadow Flame. It, that was when Mech Mages were played more. And Paladins. When Paladins are really popular, Hellfire is really insane. Okay, he does the right play. And for show, how are you going to answer this? Can you play your own Sylvana system? Ooh, uh, it's like... Uh, it's risky. <laughs> you, you can give him a big demon. Yeah. We know that he has Mulganis, but maybe show will be forced to take the risk. Maybe there's no other option. So like, you go already to 11. Like, the, if you Hellfire here. Like, if your opponent doesn't have any demon from the Void Caller, it's super insane. Mm -hmm. But he cannot bank if on that, since he drawn almost mm -hmm. half of his deck, 14 cards in. And let's say he runs like yeah. four or five demons, there's like a huge chance he has a demon at least. Like if he will have like a Sunfri, uh, like it, it will be a more than fine play because you can play double Moltens and in this then, case, then it will only trade for one. In this particular case, if um, Gianni gets really unlucky and gets the Void Caller, if Show goes for the risky play, he will probably lose the game. Because I don't know if a Void Caller is enough to deal with double Molten Giants. Yeah, what do you guys think? So just, just Hellfire Molten? That's the play, but it's really risky. If he gets Malganius, he just wins. You, but you, you just show double power, so you're probably not that afraid of really big combos yeah. anymore. Yeah. Two Shadow Flames gone, not so Giants... Not Mortal Coil. Uh, that, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, not Mortal Coil. Yeah, mm. not Mortal Coil, and just play your Giants. I, I actually like it. Yeah? It's okay. It's I know it feels weird, but like... Yeah, yeah it, it's probably... And the, tapping, the uh, with not tapping here, like, he plays around double... Uh, Hellfire or an Hellfire Dark oh Bomb, so I like that. What do you think of trading and then Hellfire and then Bane of Doom? Yeah, I think I like it. And get double Malganis, it seems <laughs> pretty Malganis. good. Oh, you could even get a Felguard. Yeah. Double yeah. Malganis. <laughs> Your Felguard would kill yeah. the remaining mm -hmm. Molten. What's the chance of getting Malganis from Bane of Doom? It's pretty small, right? Well, Doom Guard, uh, Felguard is good, Malganis is good. I heard like it's really 50-50 to get there's, it something there's, terrible there's or three really good. really good outcomes of that mm -hmm. play. I don't think Felguard is that good, but Doomguard is insane well, because Felguard would be buffed by Malganus. Okay, then it's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't uh, think of that in depth. But you'd have to get the 50-50 with Malganus. Yeah. Lots of RNG this turn. Or not. Or not. Okay. Goes for a safe play here. He's just pushing That's, the damage. Yeah. He's forcing Sho to have the extra damage. Oh, Sho gets the Iron Bake. And like we see already five damage in hand, so it's, he only has to push for three damage. Okay, yeah, now you do it. You have double Molten's on the board. What can possibly go wrong? 
lot of things. This can go wrong. It's not that bad. No, it's not. <laughs> but um, even if three damage goes through, he has lethal with yeah. Hellfire, Bane, and Doom. So the heal bot has to come out, and I, I expect the heal bot coming out here. Do you think he kills the second Void Caller? I don't think so. Like, he's not worth taking in a race, but at the same uh, time... Yeah, just just to drop the Demon Heart possibility. That has been played in a lot of Demon Locks. Oh, he played Iron Big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. I like it. Iron Big over face. That's a good play. Okay, that's... Hitting the face is probably correct. They see 1 damage shots. 9, 10, 11, 13 damage. What do you think about heal bot into Molten, then Hellfire, then Bane of Doom on the Molten? That's that, that's the play. Yeah. Yeah. That's the play. And then and if you get something good, you can even abuse of the for two yeah, more yeah, damage. Yeah. That's insane. That can make mm -hmm. him come back into the game. We see Sylvanas and Emperor on, on the like, show side. I Let's see if Jenny sees that. Like it took him until the rope to see the Sylvanas mm -hmm. Shadow Flame. Like, like he can go for the passive play maybe and trade everything in, then Hellfire play Emperor. But I just want to see the Bane of Doom, man. I just want to see it. You want to see the Blood Imp? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the Blood Imp. Come on, that's yeah. not exciting. The Void. The Void Walker. No. Flame Imp? Uh, it's already <laughs> a bit better, but... Let's see if Gianni sees the right play. I guess you see three cards in the hands from the Warlock now. Rope, rope, rope. This, is, this is the Johnny I'm used to seeing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. Okay, so he goes for the safe play. He's a really safe player. He wants to play. Is he really safe? Yeah. Yeah. Like Bane of Doom would protect your monster, your free four. Would also give you a random demon. I'm not sure if this is worth it. It's worth it in one situation if it gives you a lethal next turn, and it doesn't in this situation. Mm. So, so how do you counter Emperor? He's four off. He needs Soulfire. Do you counter Emperor? Counter like, I mean, Emperor? I mean, I mean uh, yeah. Zani is four off. Emperor with Emperor. Yeah, I don't see really like Sylvanas makes not much sense here. Back in the day, counter Loteb was really good against Loteb, but now Doctor Boom and Emperor cannot be countered by their brothers. Oh. Ooh, baby. I think you just played. So yeah. Many you go to... You trade and play, Jaraxxus. Yeah, you go to 50 I don't think you trade. Eight, you can put him at 3, man. If you play Jaraxxus here. Yeah. You do Jaraxxus and Abusive to face. Like, he, ne he needs to put out a taunt and... You can make 6. Yeah, I like this. Did Sho any use any powerful whelmings? I don't think so. But I'm not sure if he can feed that in, in the, in the yeah. greedy deck. I would say in a standard uh, handlock, it's not really likely that you run power overwhelmings. He goes for the ballsy play. The free mana Bane of Doom. Oh, hey. heal bot. Okay. <laughs> Holy cow. But, yeah, how are you gonna play it now as Heal bot Sylvanas. Really? Yeah, why not? Okay. I was thinking he'll have Belcher, but you're right. Yeah, or going for the greedy play and play Sylvanas Belcher and make the trade. It's oh, I, like think, I think that trade is happening no matter what. Yeah, that trade is happening for sure. It's just how scared are you here at this moment? I think I like Sylvanas. Moment? Sylvanas shuts out a lot of options. He can trade into Sylvanas, but then he takes too much face damage and he can but possibly get lethal. It's, he can just trade with it with the abuse of Surge and then the weapon. It takes, he takes some damage, but... Uh, Belcher is a safer approach. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like Sil uh, Belcher Sylvanas. What, what, what if he goes for phase here? now? Wait, wait, he could go for phase now. You saw a double Shadow Flame already gone, so. If he goes for phase, he can have lethal next turn, right? Can he? Yeah. Like he's on a clock now with. He has lethal next turn like with Hellfire. If he goes for phase now, I think pushing phase is the right. Jenny Drood can get like every turn now. He can get for two mana a six six. So he's a bit on a clock at the moment. Trading abusive is. Mm. Hmm, implosion. Implosion. I think I like implosion on the 5-3. From 4. You have the backup of the Bane of Doom, and you actually have the anti kill bot if you want to go adventurous. He has to, to play the Bane of Doom, Doom, man. I, uh, at yeah. least this game. Come on, we want to see it. It's like you can't play the heal bot. You play Bane of Doom. 
It's obvious you play Bane of Doom this turn because you, you can't play the heal bot. So it's it's hero power, Bane of Doom, implosion. Yeah. You can implosion first. Like if it goes really bad and it hits two, you can still kill yeah. it off. Yeah, you, you of should Doom. implosion the five three, and if he hits for two, you Bane of uh. Doom the five three. And if it goes for three or more, you just trade implo uh, Bane of Doom the one two slime, and then you trade a uh, face into the three three. Yep. So, so uh, uh, two out of three, you're in excellent shape. Yep. Let's see the implosion. Yeah, I, I don't think, uh, like, Healbot is not necessary. And you, you want a hero power. Yeah. Do it fast. Belcher, it takes some time. Many people misplay like this. Okay. Like, the Belcher, they might not end up their turn. And... <laughs> It's pretty average, right? Or pretty good. See? Oh, four. Oh, uh, wow. That's pretty good. Yeah? That's some good RNG. He managed to finish his turn. I saw it so many times, people not being able to finish their turn because of the Belcher. Two mana. Heal for eight. Pretty strong, man. Ooh! Oh. Wow! That's the card that can... Can wow. it swing the game? Yeah. I think it can. So wow. I think you... Um, you can you Shadow Flame Infernal. Hellfire Sylvanas. No, you, you hit one Infernal and you play Sylvanas Shadow Flame to steal the other. It doesn't matter the order. But how is like. You can play Sylvanas Shadow Flame and then. Trade. You can also Shadow Flame yep. the Heal Bot, then Hellfire and then play Sylvanas and you clear everything. Uh, and you, have, you have the Sylvanas left on the board. Yeah, that's better, I think. Okay. Instead of a 6 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this allows you to also go for phase. Mm -hmm. You put him at 9. Have Sylvanas. Uh, and you, yeah, put you put him at him six, six with the uh, Hellfire. Put him at six, yeah, never mind, sorry. I would really like that play. Okay. And next turn, you draw, you just throw an August or an... Uh, Dark Bomb. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good... Oh, your Orange Araxus. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to mm -hmm. finish your opponent. He's tapping. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. <laughs> GG. Yeah. You guys are not even like aware of what's going on. <laughs> uh, right now, he has lethal with Doctor Boom Hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yeah. Well, the bombs can hit one one. No, they can't. Not in this situation. Why? It's too epic. Ah. <laughs> That's a good reasoning. Do you defender here? It's a bit like uh, if he has pick a hunter. But they're going for Sylvanas. I don't think there was like any counter from Zianis' uh, hand. Now the Doctor Boom has to show why he's called Doctor Balanced. Be ready with that GG button creep. Yeah, it's it's the only play, right? Yeah, it is the only play. Uh, otherwise, you're just dead on board already. But yeah. if, it, if it works, you probably win. It's a really good chance. Like you have two 50-50s that also have to hit for three. Slightly above average. 50-50. So the chances is three or four is 50-50. So you need to win at 25% or the, chance the next actually a little bit percent. low. The chance is like 45% that it dies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, but but it'll happen. It'll happen, guys. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's scripted. if it is your only option, it's a pretty okay one, it's I will scripted. say. Yes, that's the only option. Unless you tap into something like really cool, like a dark bomb. But then you have no play for the next turn and your opponent is just going to play another... Okay, mm -hmm. be ready. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> Doctor balanced. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> wow, that was really insane. And also four on the face. Yeah. It was. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what can you ask for uh, more than this? Uh, you, you still might lose because you got Argus on the seven-seven face. You put yeah, but it takes the whole turn. Yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, but what if his opponent stops the Jaraxus? Oh, he has the top deck like a big game, it'll work. Big game or si He hasn't used an owl, he hasn't used the big game. Oh, he used yeah. an owl. He used an owl. No, no, no. It was the, uh, it was no, he used an owl. I'm pretty sure he okay. used an owl. My shield. So, big game hunter and owl. or Jaraxxus. Or the second owl if he runs that. Yeah. Jaraxxus is or also pretty good. Or Shadow. No, Shadow. Oh. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my okay. god. This is tap. gonna be. I think you tap. You tap. Yeah. You tap. See what For you what? You it doesn't matter. Yeah, you tap, you tap, you yeah tap. it does. What if you get? An, what if you get an owl? Yeah, you tap. Oh yeah, yeah. You that's tap, true. Guys. Oh Maybe my if you're, god. If you're a monster, oh. you don't tap. You just play. Ragnaros and win the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, and a Let's big see. game hunter also. Oh, <laughs> oh my! Wow, this series. Oh my god. Oh. GG. GG. Oh, and 
Oh man. He had to choose the RNG way. He'll be yeah. he'll get punished for this. <laughs> <laughs> Show is gonna get punished oh, for what this. What a game, guys. Oh, oh my man. That's why Hearthstone is so fun. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man, about this game. You mean <laughs> Dr. Boom? <laughs> That's he's not getting nerfed. He's uh, fine. And he was uh, on both sides. That looked fine. Yeah. Yeah, it That looked insane. totally fine. Yeah, that's... <laughs> like... Hitting free and it was, hitting free. It was and also totally the four fine. on the face. Yeah, four, exactly. Yeah. Fine. Like, otherwise, it had to it had to be a wreck. Yeah. Like, if it was built for three... And if it was two, yeah, not even a wreck was doing yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So, um, just keep in mind, if you play Hearthstone, you might want to dust some cards to craft a Dr. Boom of your <laughs> own. Mm -hmm. And if you can't, at least go for the big game, as you said. You saw. will never regret it, I will say. Yeah, never. Like, if he gets nerfed, you get a dust mm -hmm. back. Yeah. And you craft Emperor. Uh, actually, ne never. Don't it's all right. No. It's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you have to be the AI to yeah. get Emperor. That was, that was the first game, was it not? Yeah, that, man. That what a really first game. Went the distance. Yeah. It's a mirror match. Mirror match meta is a lot in Conquest. Uh. Mm -hmm. If you lose a mirror match, you probably have to lose uh, to win well, an unfavorable matchup. It wasn't exactly really a mirror match. match. Yeah. Like the handlock has really more better matchups in the control games, and then demon lock is just a bit better against aggro. I feel really? it has some different I feel, kind yeah, of good I, I matchups. Feel, I feel like they're both about as good as again mm -hmm. against aggro, but I feel like maybe mid range is uh, is harder for handlock to deal with, like the druidy decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can agree with that. Yeah, this game also looks pretty. Mm. Fatigue wish. The, the, the warrior that Show is running is some really greedy warrior with Alexstrasza and Isera. The two dragons are back in business. Okay. Dragon warrior, man. Having shield block shields them is a really huge advantage Yo for Show. Oh my. That's Void Colored Malganus on three. That's insane. Okay. Show just doing the armor up at turn two. Pretty yeah. standard. I think your tapping is, is a liability. You absolutely an egg. Mm -hmm. Like tapping might just give you a crap demon you don't want in your hand. I think Show is forced to also armor up again on turn three if he wants to shield block shield slam on turn four. Yeah, it prevents any big drop. I can agree with that. But actually, he just can play playing acolyte. acolyte. He can play acolyte now. Yeah, it's both is pretty good. You have double shield block. Shield block, block now. is also not bad. Harrison. Huh. I saw many people not wanting to play the Acolyte to deny him the value. They want to keep it until they guaranteed have value from either Death's Bite, Whirlwind, Cruel Master, or any other shenanigan card that can... Uh wow, he's really saving that coin for the, the Dr. Boom I there. think for a turn 6, Dr. Boom. <laughs> he wants to hear the GG from Creep. Yep. Dude, I don't, even, I don't even have a button adequate enough for a turn 6, Dr. Boom. This button is only certified for turn 7, Dr. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. Okay. okay, getting Cortez Master can be pretty important as finisher, but also uh, just on the Acolyte for Codra. Harrison is also insane versus Jaraxxus. If we didn't see Jaraxxus. Yeah, but normally... Yeah, we did, of course we did. We did, we did, we did. Of course yeah. we did. With, right. a de but as a, with a demon lock, you, normally it will be played on the board, I guess. Yeah. Jaraxxus. Last game it wasn't. Ah, that's true. Oh, I think he's thinking of Bane of Doom in his egg. He, he hovered wow, over his, that's his cool. coin. That, that's a really good thing. You, get, you just get the Morganis and the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's <laughs> way better than Void Caller. Or you can get the Blood Imp. And you have a Yeti. Yeah. You, on, four, on turn 4, you have a Yeti and a 0-1. But like, isn't it better to play the Void Caller first, then get the Morganis, then your Bane of Doom, and I get just, some he extra just, he power? He just hovered over his coin. Uh, if, if you hover over your coin, it can't be Belcher, because Void Caller is just automatically better, right? It depends. I, I like the Bane of Doom into Sludge Belcher, but then you will not get value from Void Color. Maybe you can keep Void Color for something uh, like Void Color, PO, Shadow Flame on turn it 9. It has to be Void Color. He's going for uh, it. Oh, 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 come wow. on. Just a belt. Maybe he misclicked. It was the rope. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you go for a coin, I'm pretty sure Bane of Doom was better than Sludge Belcher, right? Like, you had a 4-4. Four, four. Why would you want a Taunter versus Warrior? It, it, the main reason is that... I probably death bite. Yeah. The, the start was pretty slow, so you expect maybe weapons. If you get a Blood Imp, death bite is not effective. Uh, don't talk about the Blood Imp. We want to see something Don't you like the exciting. Blood Imp, man? Well, we're, we're about to see a Bane of Doom here. Yeah. There's... Uh, is there any way it's... Yeah, okay, he might actually help fight. Damn it! No, Bane of Doom is <laughs> You're always looking for another way. Like, Bane of Doom is really insane, but Hellfire gives you the egg pop, which yeah. is probably better. 
You yeah. also destroy Show's armor, which is really efficient. <laughs> Don't destroy much of it. You kind of, you know, clink it a little bit. Six armor out of 12 is like half. Yeah, but it's not, like, it goes back to 12 pretty soon. Well, in this matchup, I think it's all about the board control, and eventually, as a handlock, demonlock, whatever, you'll just win by hitting them in the face for like two or three turns in a row with a huge board after they run out of cards. That's how it usually ends. You don't really care about their armor, they just use removals for your stuff, and when they when they run out of removal, you'll just win the game in like two or three turns. So many I want Bane to do. I wanted Bane of Doom. I think turn. we all want it, come on. Yeah, Bane of Doom the dream. Do it for us. That yeah. means being a doom. Yep, we're seeing it. Yeah. Is there any benefit in trading before Bane of Doom? No. Uh, and? 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 Uh, uh, huh? Huh? Oh. oh, that's really disappointing. A flame imp. What? But it didn't deal, deal 3 damage. That's not even as good as Stormpike Commando. Uh, that's, that's like 3 mana deal 2 damage. It's like a 2 drop. Because flame is like a 2 drop, yeah. It's like a shredder kind of what? thing. How good is free mana deal to damage? Worse than Dark Bomb. So, that's bad value. But hmm. with the next Bane of Doom, he'll get Morgani, so that's okay. What do you want to show now? Like, you I don't wanna know if there is a next Bane of Doom. Next game. Oh, next next game. series. I like playing double Bane of Doom in my Demon Lock, but that's because I just like playing Bane of Doom a lot. It's not really a strategic decision. <laughs> <laughs> is it good in Arena? What do, you, what do you guys think? Is double Bane of Doom still alright? Sixo played the double bane of doom. Okay. And he's in top eight, so it has to be. Do you play is it a good in arena? I don't know the arena rankings. Uh in arena uh, it used to be fair. Like if it used to be fair, it's pretty crazy now. Oh, okay. Cause before it would it would save you from drawing a card. <laughs> it's 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 kinda like do two damage and play some garbage, but your deck's full of garbage anyway. Oh okay. So it's like <laughs> two <laughs> that damage. That makes sense. That that's fair, yeah. yeah. Because if even if you get like a flame imp, right? It's like hero power, demon fire, flame imp, five mana. It's fair. Yeah, it's fair. I like the Nerubian into void color right now because you have the potential hellfire, which will give you like insane value, giving you the free four fours. Yeah. It, the, the also two, it also blocks it also blocks AOE. Two four fours. I mean, sorry. So does void color then? Yeah. But the thing with playing Demon Lock is that you need to tap a lot. So maybe just keeping some 2 mana mm -hmm. plays for tapping is not always bad. Mm. And he has a really good next turn, right? Turn 7. Yep. I'll be ready. <laughs> Get a button, Pip. That's insane, the GG button. Shield Madden on the board here. Do you think he needs to play Dark Turbo? Or do you think he'll wait? It's gonna be the fastest turn of the game. You just mm. double trade, right? It's insane. Well, he has more options. Let's not. Doctor Boom and Melgan is on the board, man. <laughs> that, that's too much. I mean, yeah, I, maybe I, I, you are a bit worried of Brawl, brawl then. Yeah, in, bra the, in brawl that case, kind of wrecks you. Mm. I, I don't think he'll go for that. He might go for something like abusive, to force his opponent to play the brawl and then play the second Ruby and as an insurance, and that means that he can also tap. So he he should tap before, or maybe if he wants to overextend. Actually, the best play is going abusive on the egg, attacking into the five five, then dark bomb. And then play the other rag. This way you have a huge That's board, you have insurance, you force him to brawl if he has the brawl, and you can go for Dr. Boom next turn. I think you can also feed the tap in there if I'm not wrong with my math. You can also play the second egg then, in that case. Or do you really That's want to I get said. that brawl out? Yeah, yeah, you want yeah. to get brawled because you mm -hmm. want to have the Mulganis and the Dr. Balanced. Mm. Yeah. Or the Boom, whatever. Dr. Broom, as I told he said. Dr. Because Broom. he cleans the board. <laughs> Like All right, well, he isn't going for that. He's it's going for the greedy stuff. play. Uh, it's not actually greedy. He's like forcing show into a brawl. Come on. Do not drop yourself. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Did he play the egg in time? It's still green. I think he did not play the egg. I think he had to play the egg there. Nope. Maybe not, because now you really want force that brawl out. Yeah. If he has it. The egg can maybe make the decision a bit harder. But show just making his weapons here. Well, if the warrior doesn't brawl, you just continue attacking him and attacking him. Eventually, you, he will lose in like two or three turns. So he has to use brawl at some point. Um, Double armor smith, Double getting armor that armor back. Yeah, he was almost gone with armor, being so he Jenny, has to... Being Johnny Dwight, you just have to clear the board and apply a little bit more pressure. That much pressure in order to force the brawl. 
as soon as possible. The thing is, you don't actually want a Dr. Boom into a death fight. Because the warriors actually have issues dealing with the one ones, and this is this is the weakest Doctor Boom that's ever going to be played. I think you you Emperor. buff the two one and you trade the two one, the four one into the into the first armor smith. Then you trade the void coil into the other one. You mortal coil. You probably mortal coil first actually, and then you play the Tauri Sun. And this way you have a pretty good board against the Desbite. You want to get brawled. You have all your, all your hand cheaper. Yeah. It's just insane. Yeah, and, and it will die only. And he's going for that. I really like the way Jan is playing now. It's insane. Yeah, the Emperor is also... Seeing the potential so. of the people that qualify for this tournament is really great. Hmm. So many people out there that are not discovered yet as I... As <laughs> Alright, there's the Tarson. Emperor joins... Still support. a really good death by hit though. A pretty good death so by hit. Like, uh... I think we're actually going to... I think we're, we're going to, we're going to shield slam the void caller. Hmm. So you can execute what comes out. Mm -hmm. That means I'm wrapping before, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's a pretty. What do you think about playing you can also shield maiden? You can also attack with a death spot and play Alex, but it, it's a bit greedy, maybe. It's super greedy. You cannot do that. Shaw no, is like I super defensive, so. super safe. Yeah. He has his Sarah in the deck. He's planning to tank this game to the late game. Like the only way where he can lose to a Warlock before fatigue mm -hmm. is Jaraxxus. And he has Harrison for Jaraxxus. He doesn't care. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I actually like it. it. Like if you want guys. to do it, never it's mind. the best now. Ja ma ma maybe I'm playing Raxus. too safe overall. Maybe I'm playing too safe. Maybe these are the... Do you go for the Dr. Boom Hellfire again? No, I think you play Jaraxxus, and then you suicide Voidcaller, and then you can weapon hit Alastraza without taking health damage. If you play That's insane. And also, if you trade, Actually, oh, if you wait, trade wait, first you, with the Voidcaller, you, you buff the flame. Yeah, yeah, if you, you don't need to... <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah. but it's, that, that Jaraxxus draw is actually pretty bad. Because now you are like, ah, oh, otherwise I had Morganis, I could make the perfect trade here. What? No, you play Jaraxxus. Play Drexus. Yep. So mm. good. It's weak to Harrison, but yeah. Is it? That's an overdraw. Hey, that's a massive overdraw. Do you think mm. he cares about the massive overdraw? Yeah, if he's playing a tank warrior, he might just be too slow and not have enough cards to win. He overdraws like four or five cards, four, I think. Yeah. Oh. He'll be at seven, he plays Harrison six, and he draws seven. And with a normal draw, eight. oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, wasn't he it? called uh, attack first with the fourth caller, yeah. and then the flaming bolt bu go to five. Yeah. Yeah. So he missed free damage. Yeah. Or an extra mill. <laughs> yeah. Kay. Actually, or milling is pretty important. Milling, milling can be I, more than free damage. I don't actually. even think I would have attacked there. Yeah. Actually. Mm, I don't think you expect an. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that is really good. Yeah, that's like, true. Milling your opponent for one extra card at this point when we know he has 13 remaining, you mill him from for eight. <laughs> so it's like insane. So if, you f if you manage to fatigue mm. him... Like normally I would say you want to shield Maiden with armor up and just shield slam, but like it makes sense to wow. Like Wildwind is a use or it's not that good of a card here and you can Wildwind execute and then play Harrison to get rid of your cards and just destroy the weapon. I don't know, it's pretty close. You have so many good plays. Yeah. You can keep Harrison for the next turn if you don't want to draw that much, but drawing is really essential. Yeah, but it's the three damage that it can deal with. Whirlwind is really good against Implosion. You you can you have Whirlwind, spot. execute, weapon up, and then Harrison. Yeah. That's what's happening, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna overdraw one next turn? One. Unless. Ah, uh, but for. He can use a shield slam on nothing. Nah, <laughs> nah, <that's bad. laughs> Execute phase after the attack. Oh uh, yes, well he drew grow like he drew. Oh wow, he drew really big cards. <laughs> Execute Sylvanas, he can do that. Like, now. I was I was scared that he will maybe discard like Grom or like a big card, but he drew really important cards now. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there will can be a disaster. This card happen. Yeah. How much has the warrior left now? Yes, six, six cards. cards. Show us six cards left. One is Yisira. That's the that's the biggest discard of what can happen. But even that, it won't hurt. Yeah. 
I think here you just play a bunch of garbage. Like uh, Sludge Belcher, the thing from the Hero Power, and the egg. No? Hmm. You're in a really tough spot. You're at 12. That's like the life you don't want to be on against Warrior. You can play the Egg, Hellfire, Mortal Coil, see what you get, and then maybe play the Belcher to protect the 4-4. The four funny four. thing is, while he's got Gromash, he doesn't have an activator. Yeah, but I think you want to play around it already. I bet if you play Hellfire, you play the Egg too. It's one more mana for a 4-4. Four four. Mm. That's value. Guess not. Oh, I didn't see that he's in Jarasus form. Never mind. Never mind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, the 6-6 six, six is definitely better than the 4-4. Four, four. Power of Realming is pretty good round. Okay. Uh, so he could have shield slammed mm -hmm. last turn. And you said he shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Come on, Thais. Step up your game, man. <laughs> Did he have a target to shield slam, actually? Yeah, his, yeah, his own arrows. Yeah. yeah. It's efficient. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, the brawl is still in that deck. <laughs> I like so Arisan. many options. I like Tauri Sun with like that many cards in the hand. Yeah, you have a lot of life, but without a brawl in hand right now. Oh yeah, brawl is also left. Yeah. Actually, he might not play brawl. Brawl and Ysira. No, oh, we saw it. He milliganed it the way. Oh, we okay. saw it in a milligan. Okay. I'm really sure. How does he feed brawl, Ysira, Alex Traza in the same deck? And whirlwind. Show is the master warrior. <laughs> Did we saw Belchers and shows that? Yeah, we saw. No. I don't think we saw Belchers. Yeah. We? When when I when I try to drop a card off where I what usually draw the Belcher. <laughs> Just because it's that, so boring to play or yeah. uh, <laughs> it's it's, it's too yeah. passive. It's like a better Sengen. Kind of. It cost more. You really want to get that death fight all out also, I think. I don't know. I can you attack with the fireworks? I think he he would have attacked before. Yeah, that's a the most safe play, I guess. <laughs> but the thing is that the 6 is going to come back next turn. I don't think he cares. Yeah. I think he's trying to draw out his Cruel Task. Cruel Task would be lethal. What a hand here, man. Wow. Double Powerful Lemming is insane. With double Shadow Flame. <laughs> I Wait, think you go for Dr. Boom. He, he could actually Dr. Boom, Power Realm a Boom Bot, and Shadow Flame <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't Dr. make sense. Boo, man. Here. That makes a lot of sense. Actually, yes, because you need to kill the Shield Maiden to play around uh, Gromash combo, but we know Sho doesn't have any activator for Gromash. Not yet. He can just draw a cool test master. The thing is, you have two Power Whelmings and two Shadow Flames. That is the safest play. Yeah, but you can just Shadow Flame just your own uh, Infernal. Yeah, but Bomb is so much cooler. Yeah, it is. Okay. I, I agree. Good. Good. You're on the right way, Thais. Oh! It's happening. <gasps> no, not it didn't happen yet. He's fa still thinking. Come on. Yeah. There oh, he's go. going for the... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the oh my god. He's listening to Creep. Uh, two. Okay. Mm. Boom, but failure. Oh, uh, probably he didn't cut the belt here. What did he cut then? Executes? No. No, maybe just like there's all of, always like one or two spots free in the warrior, and maybe he just doesn't play anything else. Oh, oh, it's time. <laughs> yeah, it's one damage of lethal, so. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to attack his own boombot to increase yeah. his <laughs> weapon hit damage. Oh. <laughs> uh. The world can still win it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. You can play the bo the egg to block the bombs. The bad part is that yeah. after you play Jaraxus, you cannot tap, and not tapping leaves you with less options, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think you just deal the. Bomb, Shadow Flame it. Truth is, that belt just not yeah, staying alive. Yeah, it's really and risky then, because and you, you need to win the 50 50. And if you, you can trade Belcher for the safer way, but is that really going to win you the game? You have to take the game in your hands sometimes. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, you can also do this and then attack the. Just Shadow Flame your Infernal. Mm. Hmm. That's right. 
Big Game in the Master. Unacceptable. Shadow Flaming the Inferno for killing one card. That's oh, not and right. what are the bombs gonna do? Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's good. Show is really close to Lethal. Just playing Devs by gives him mm. Lethal. Thanks, Sir. Sure. a bit slow. Now, yes. This one is Three really cards left. One of them is Brawl. I think also Cruel Testmaster. Yeah. I think you just Death by, Death by Belcher is the, has to be the play. Right. No, I think it's Yasir Execute. And Sylvanas. I like Sylvanas. Well. Yasir yeah. Execute doesn't give you lethal next turn. With playing the Death by you get lethal next turn with Gromash. Yeah, you really want to play that. Oh, that's so then, so then you execute Death Spite. You can play anything with Death Spite. Why do you want to execute? Oh. It is not needed. You just Death Spite now and you play something else, so. You just kill the one two the next turn and you have Chrome. But like you cannot kill, you cannot uh, get killed if you play the Death Bite. You don't need to. You saw double power turn. overwhelming just you, so. You saw oh one. Yeah, it's the one in hand. Oh one. Right, the only mm. ten damage combination from two cards is Leroy Shadow, Lilo APO, and who plays Leroy in a Demon Lock? Johnny. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> I don't know. I think he might play. So. He might play Arcane Golem. Uh, well, that's not exactly the No, area. we haven't seen Faceless either, and he's dug pretty deep these last two games. Yeah, look at that, apparently you do execute. Mm -hmm. How about that? Interesting. Belcher coming out here. It's okay. Okay, he really needs a good draw now. Probably a taunt. Healbot, that's something. Is not it? enough. No. Nope, it's he's not, dead. It's not anything, actually. Even if he gains the full 14 and power overwhelms to finish off the entire Belcher, he's dead. Yeah. Yep. One damage. Oh, it actually is doing that. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, you're really scared of Gromland. Like, you see him drawing the entire hand already. Yeah. He has to have uh, Gromland hand. Well played. There. Well played coming well played. out. Okay. Even if if he was at 15. Yeah, plus. Alright. What? Yeah, shit was I feel cheated. Ah. I think not mm -hmm. appeasing the BM gods is, is not the right call there. That's a 3-0 that's a mm -hmm. though, isn't it? What's, isn't it the 2-0 yet? Isn't it the 2-0? Yeah, a it's 2-0. Oh. So he's just taking a bathroom. Oh, that's yeah. right. He's <laughs> lost two with, with Warlock. Two with Warlock that's now. It. So what does, it, what does Show have <laughs> left? I was now? like, I just <laughs> showed <laughs> yeah. good to and I was like... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Seemed fine. So it's uh, what is left now for Show? Do we know? Um, hmm. uh, no, but there's something on the mm -hmm. screen so yeah. everyone else knows. But this screen mm -hmm. is like way tilted and I'm in the corner so I can't mm -hmm. see anything. So I have no idea what Show actually mm -hmm. has left. But um, I don't know. He what's, plays Mech Mage, right? right? But that's maybe banned. Maybe banned. Yeah. Like that, we will that's see. a good matchup we'll for see. your let's, demon lock. Let's be realistic, yeah. The one thing that we have not done a service with this tournament is trying to remove Mech Mages off the ladder. Like, there's going to be so many Mech Mages after this tournament. There is already a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah, still. I thought I thought they were out for, like, maybe this Blackrock week. They always come back. Yep. Okay. Cockroaches, man. <laughs> Same with Hunter. Like, no matter how much you nerf Hunter, unless you get rid of the hero power, they will always come uh, back. Mm. Face, mid range, they will find a way. Control, mm -hmm. yeah. stream will sniper. Well, what if there was like a, a card that just swapped the hero powers? Uh, with, like, random, you are like, asking Blizzard for a new like, card here, or give your hero random good. hero power? That's cool. Uh, yeah, but all all the lucky hunters are just but random into hunter again. That doesn't sound right because if you want the best, if you think other hero powers are better, why not just play that hero too? Maybe in a conquest format, oh, you no, cannot play warrior. There's, there's three a very times. good reason because most people build their deck around their hero power. Like, what is handlock mm -hmm. when you give them a hunter hero power? Suddenly, mountain giant's mm -hmm. not so good. <laughs> I, I I would uh, see Warlock with the uh, Hunter Hero Power just playing with like double PO and everything. Yeah, yeah. that would be pretty cool. Like a Leroy combo, Arcane yeah. com Arcane Insane. Golem. I would play that. You will try it, but well, you stick to it. That's the that's wait, the point. wait. Between games, yes. Why not? Uh, you saying cards that do direct damage and chargers is good with two damage Hero Power? Like, <laughs> yes. Wow. Mm. Face Hunter. Yeah, that's basically that. All right, well, but show you have the PO. Imagine Face Hunter had the PO. 
does it matter? Like when Faith Hunter kills you, they have like one card left. Mana is not usually the problem. They have like kill command, but that's not like PO. Yeah. Mm. Really close. Mm. I don't know. So what do you think? If it's not Mech Mage, it's Druid, right? Oh yeah, yes, Mech Mage and Druid. So. I'm just guessing because everyone has Mech Mage and Druid. No, but he has Druid. He has Druid. Oh, okay. Well, seeing seeing that Ziani inst insisted on uh, playing Demon Lock two times in a row, I think he wants to get the matchup. And I don't think he wants the matchup versus Druid. He either wants to just get a win and just go mm -hmm. on with his uh, decks. Or Demon maybe Lock isn't that bad against Druid. He's not that bad. But I don't think that's the matchup you target as a yeah. Demon Lock. Okay. You probably target the Mech Mage. So if Sho had the, the Mech Mage, <laughs> he had the reason to stick with his Demon Lock. You still have to he win runs that double match, heal bot. Like He runs really... When, when you're down two games, all your, all three decks have to beat the last yeah, deck that, anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so you might as well just flip some coins mm -hmm. and go with whatever. Yep. Well, you have okay. to play... Mm -hmm. games. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, we're getting into it here. Oh, it's okay. Druid. It's Druid. And it is Warlock. I love Sho's intro. It's like that <laughs> clap, man. Yep. The fab clap from Sho. Oh man, Johnny Drew only got it on, on an image. I don't even think that was a video. Unlucky. Yep, bad RNG. Okay. Okay, so we got Malganus, Dark Room, Shadow Flame, none of which we'll see in a second. Hmm. Just mulligan everything, I guess. Do you think Malganus might be a keep with Void Caller, possibly? Uh, with Void Caller, yes. No, 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 considering that you will try to tap a lot and get a Void Caller. Oh, no. No way. No. Like, okay. with Void Caller, maybe Bono versus Druid or something like Mech Mage, I would keep it because that's your win condition. Mm. But you need both together. Like, actually. It's like keeping Sprint without prep. It doesn't make any sense. Like, keeping Direct, or like getting a Direct is even better against Druid. Like, it trades so well on the board, it's so hard for Druid to deal with and Jiraxus and against Morganus, they always have to pick him. Sixo had two Jiraxus and he still lost. Uh. <laughs> two Jiraxus. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. It's not the best starter on both sides. Mm -hmm. We oh, see Farce here in Druid. That's really mm -hmm. teched for some uh, like aggro matchups. I think he even played two, but I'm not really sure. But he, I, I, he probably did it like for for the hunter and the aggro two matchups. Two farseers, op op. Mm -hmm. Farseer and Azure are like mm -hmm. the last surviving yeah, classic cards in many decks. Emperor getting in the hands of both players here. Nerubian egg is insane versus Druid. The PO combination. Oh, look that yep. draw! Oh, my God. oh man, show is a really good Druid player. <laughs> That's how you Druid, yeah. Next turn you can coin into an Azure Drake. Uh. Well, you can also coin up error at turn 5. Do you go for the really grid play? The grid play is to tap into egg tap next turn. But I still think playing the egg now is better because they'll play yeah. their 4-drop, you just PL your egg and you deal with their 4-drop. Yeah. And even play. sometimes with a 5-drop. I drop. actually think I like the taunted Drew the Claw. Because... Uh, still gets Dark Bomb then PO'd. But yeah, he's probably Yeah, better. Dark Bomb PO is like, fine. Like, you want to kill it that bad, that's okay. <laughs> the, the, the Azure Drake just gets PO'd. Yeah, definitely is better, Where but on town, yeah. Strike? Okay, show, show goes for the right play, and... Oh, that's a good card. <laughs> Creep seems to love Darter Boom. How many times do you get Darter Boom in Arena? In like, how, in how many like, runs? I've gotten like twice, and one of those times I never drew him. <laughs> never. <laughs> but he was in the deck. <laughs> It makes it, it makes it uh, makes me feel <laughs> worse. Did you get him like more than one time per arena run? Hmm? Did you get Dark Moon like three times? Oh yeah. Run? I think someone uh, posted a screenshot on Reddit with four Tyrians. Wow. And he ended up going like one in three. I remember uh, I had a run. Which is I... unbelievable. But mm -hmm. it's arena. Things happen like that. Yeah. yeah, but if you just get rushed down sometimes and you don't have the consecrated yeah. through silvers. Yeah. Sometimes I just have the arena dream. I go queue on arena. I try to go for some impossible shenanigan combos. I don't get them and then I, then I just retire. Lose 150 gold. Totally worth it. You should just do the the noobs in Arena a service and rather than retire, just concede three consecutive games. Uh, I lose like five minutes. Come on. Maybe if you're on an iPad while you're in the bathroom. But I think in general you only lose about 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, conceding three times is... Pretty honorable. Okay, so he dealt with the Druid of the Claw in the Ooh. way. 
he should have. Not good right now, but Azure always is okay. a good draw. Yeah. You can either Azure Drake or Rough Rough. It's not easy to deal for you damage. Can always, you can always just get an Innovate here. Playing Azure Drake is good mm -hmm. because um, Diani is probably going to trade in the Azure Drake because mm -hmm. he's afraid of the spell power. And whatever 5-drop he's going to play is going to be contested by the Emperor from Show. If he just ignores the Azure Drake, he's going to get roughed. So he's kind of forced to trade and just play the mm -hmm. Void Caller. Yeah, but we know it's there. not going to work out very well. Because this is going to be a trade, it's going to be a Void Caller, and it's going to be Void Caller and Implosion into Emperor. <sighs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. And you get the, and you have the Doom Guard well, now, the, so... The, the best possible play right here, if you feel super lucky, is to Implosion for 4. <laughs> well, you do that, Radu? Yeah, but then you might no. get 3. You might get swiped afterwards. If yeah. you get 3, you're probably mm -hmm. like... I uh, like the Void Caller is just a good play here, I would say. Void Caller is nice. Yeah. You have Doom Guard in the hand. But trade. Next turn, you just clear the board again and turn 7, you can play Dr. Boom. Oh my god, no way. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, he, why would he must it? be hearing us right now. <laughs> Come on. He's just like trolling us. <laughs> He's probably getting the audio feed here. I hope they cannot hear the casters. Oh, come on, I'm joking. <laughs> There's the Void Caller. Okay. Another yeah, Azure Drake. That's good at turn seven normally. I think Tharson is super hands. effective because it makes Azure Drake uh, yeah. double wrath next turn possible. <laughs> oh, and you still have a man on left, man. He can Hellfire and trade and get the Doomguard out. He can tap, but if you do, go, if you go for that play, do you tap before or after? Like if you tap now, you might get some shitty demon that you cannot play because you don't have enough mana. No, I think I think you trade and tap. Yeah, you, you Hellfire, mm -hmm. trade tap. Oh yeah, don't Hellfire. Implosion. Why would you hellfire? Um. Don't you want dudes? When you have a five-seven dude, the one-one dudes are great. Okay. Stepping first. Oh, that oh. sucked. Well, that's maybe better. <laughs> Getting Jirexus out is pretty good against Druid. What will he do against a three fifty? He needs Argus to make Jirexus e efficient. Yeah. He's gonna go for the. Implosion. I think that was bad. I don't know. What if you just got another Void Caller? Yeah, that will be bad. Free. Unlucky. Just normal. Hey. That's like normal luck, but. Yeah, unlucky, but that's, you know, that, I don't think that's better than just Doom Guard. Is it? It's probably not. Uh, but as you said, yeah, he had to play before to not draw some other demon. Not necessarily some shitty demon, because Jazz is not shitty. Yeah. Well, Morganis will be insane. It will be. You have yeah, the. <laughs> The imps will be all 3 3. Well, not that insane versus BGH. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Well, looks like Power Overwhelming is going to be used here. No, you played Dr. Boom. Uh, uh, no. no, I think I like Power Overwhelming with Emperor. You just also saw like the Emperor from Show was already in play, so you can already be afraid of. Is this the first turn in the whole tournament where you have 7 mana Dr. Boom and you don't play Dr. Boom? That is actually true, isn't it? No, it's not. So no There's GG. been plays where you've had like three life and you have to play a Belcher not to uh, lose and stuff like that. A few not times. to lose, like you have three life. You don't yeah, lose anyways, it, it, right? Yeah, but in terms of like uh, nothing actually happened so far in the game, it may be the first time, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's the best play to play Dr. Boom here. You don't need the one ones. You haven't tested for a swipe enough. Yeah, of course, even. I was just joking. Yeah. Like the real play is PO, of course, but then you have to choose between the Emperor and the Slash Belcher. You obviously do not play the Doom Guard. He might think of some Hellfire shenanigans, which are obviously not good at the moment. I really think um, the Emperor is by far the best yeah. one because you can Doctor Boom and tap next turn. But what, yeah, and what does the Belcher more now than the Emperor does? Like you don't really have to defend your own Jirexes and <laughs> you never ropes. have to defend your Jirexes. Yeah. There he is. It's so hard for Show to deal with this board, man. Hmm. As I swipe, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Deals at least with the Emperor. Ooh, okay. the four mana Azure Drake value. You have to kill the Emperor for sure. Yeah, but you don't have to do it with swipe. You can wrath for uh, wrath for four, wrath for two. That's not that's not efficient. Why not? Mana wise, uh, actually okay. card wise. Sorry, card wise. It kind of is efficient because the. The rats aren't normally that effective. <laughs> swipe mm. is usually effective because swipe for two doesn't do that much against warlock. Swipe he for one is the same. 
Ruffs might be more efficient overall in dealing with something like Jiraxus next turn. I don't know, it's a really close score. I think both ways is okay. Mm. I don't even know if there will be any turn where Sho can really deal with Jiraxus. Does he Trading slam so much? Does he slam Dr. Boom? Like tap Dr. Boom? Like what what else? Well if Sho has the combo. Like that's why you wanna play like that's it's why you maybe damage. play rounds. Yeah. Twenty damage. It can be combo. cheaper, so maybe it will be twenty one with just 21, the opponent. Yes. Just slam a Dr. Boom. You tap before, of course. There's no risk in tapping, right? Yeah, or you really have to pl want to play around like Force of Nature, Savage Roar, Savage Roar. Which if you had exactly these. Innervate. Yeah, like you see five cards that are still cheaper, that are not played the last three turns, so. Mm -hmm. We see so many ropes roping every turn. It's a really mm -hmm. high intensity game with a lot of. It's true, though. If you, ha yeah. if, you, if you just had Savage Roar, Savage Roar, Force of Nature, that would be enough. Mm -hmm. hmm. But that will be enough. Wow. Okay. Just some good stuff. Not sure if he's in the position to play around that many things. Playing Dr. Boom was like strictly better, I think. So, show playing here with Dr. Boom? I would say yes. I'm ready. Yeah, you're ready, Crep? Yep. He can, he can double Wrath Jaraxxus down. <laughs> you can also just Urban Ring. Yeah. The bombs and the Urban Ring will <laughs> probably kill off something. There we go. Oh, man. Do we now? Do we actually see Doctor Boom in every game now? Like it, it is drawn in every game, every time around turn seven. Yeah. At least both players so had the opportunity to play it. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not like unfair no. for anybody. You have to play your own Doctor Boom here, but you have to start clearing. Those are pretty nasty. Hey, yes, no, yes, it's, no good. It's clear. a shame too. I mean, that Belcher is not even. Not even gonna kill more than one boom bot. Like, do you you really have to ignore almost boom now? How do you deal with it now? I think the Jaraxxus kills the three three. No, I think yeah yeah Jaraxxus kills the three three. Belcher kills the boom bot. No, you play Doctor Boom and then you do that. Hmm. If you play Boom now, yeah. Hmm. So you can tap for something, but that's so risky. No, how about this? You play Doctor Boom and Jaraxxus hits a boom bot. Because then if that hits the Belcher for like four, then you can suicide him. Yeah, that's a good... Okay, there is a the tap. Oh, Mortal Mortal Kombat. Kombat. We might see some ping pong here with the yeah. boom bots. Do, do you, do you play Boom? Dr. Boom first? Yep. Uh, uh, it. Come on, do it. Dr. Boom! He's on the ropes. Oh, he doesn't what? have time to boom. No, that's so sad. Wow. That sucks! <laughs> I don't think... Ziani Druid picked the best line of play there. Yeah, get punished. Four? Oh, hey! oh wow, yeah. Should I press the GG? For that? <laughs> Shook Shad. It's worth it. Oh, and there's, oh, there's also a Force of Nature now. Is that actually lethal? No, not yet, but no, with yeah. the Teacher, you can even get a lot of tokens. Like you Wait, no, you can, you can Wrath here. Yeah, but Teacher first, right? To get tokens to make your no, service no, no, no. weapon better. What if it's Wrath, wrath for... One. You need Wrath for one twice, and then Force of Nature combo with Dr. Boom on the board, which is 23. Whoa! I don't think it matters. Is that better than... Yeah, he could just Wrath and Hero Power. Isn't that like uh. something spectacular during the swipe? Uh. Not sure if swipe is more efficient. You want to deal that 7 from Boom now to, to the face, right? I think getting the Hero Power is not bad. I'm not sure. I like the swipe. Maybe the cycle can be better later. I think I like the Wrath. I like the Wrath more. He keeps the Wrath because he might want to use it uh, with a combo. Okay. That makes also sense. Well, Dr. Boom Shadow Flame is the play. I wonder. Yes. You still have the Boom Bots. Yeah. The, the greater part of the card. <laughs> okay. Dr. Boom only does seven, guys. Only. Oh, wow. So you can hero power ref and just play your lore. That's insane. Do you still like swipe more? Or uh, rough more? <laughs> yeah, now the ref is insane. <laughs> right? Four to the face. Swi with swipe oh. you can't play lore. What? And... Oh... Uh, that's so bad! You really, tree. you really have to consider like uh, all the crazy stuff that Doctor Boom did for the mm -hmm. Druid. Like, 
It killed a heal bot. It killed a Belcher, <laughs> and it required the other Doctor Broom to Shadow Flame uh, itself. That's insane. <laughs> he can go abusive and BGH. Big game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's insane. That's yeah. a really good play. You can't Doom Guard though. He was one mana of pain mm. of dooming the abusive to get the Malganis. So she was actually one damage off now because you can innovate Keeper also for two damage. Wow. That's a really cool combo. I think you just play. Ke Do you want to keep that innervate now? I think you like keeper mm -hmm. innervate agent of lore or just keeper trade face into the abusive and then you first yeah. your face. What if you just combo and the druid kills the big game? Lovic mm. <laughs> is needed. Nah. You can combo next turn. Like you need it also against Makanis. Is that a second first here? Yeah. He played he played one for two mana earlier. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um well this is a void color shadow flame play, I believe. Yeah, it's actually pretty Did we see Shade of Naxxramas from show? No, I I don't think we saw it. Did he got shade for first years? That's I it. probably think yes. That's an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. That does help some of the matchups a lot. Hunter, Mech Mage. Yeah. Yeah. Even though Innervate Shade is insane versus Hunter and Mech Mage. While well, Innervate the size sucks. Yeah, you trade here with the Keeper, I guess. Otherwise, you just die to combo. It sucks, but you have to. Ziani played too, oh, much wow. too many things. Scenarios, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he probably had to slam Dr. Boom just at turn 7 or 8 or just earlier. Yeah, he's, he's had good Does cards. They just yeah. come out too slowly so he doesn't get good value from him. Okay. I think he needs some good. Bane of Doom here. You know what's a good Bane of Doom? Malganus. Yeah. Malganus. Aye. Let's see. M. Oh. Oh, oh. It's another one. Oh. Another flame imp. <laughs> this is showing that it can be such a bad card sometimes. <laughs> the only way you lose is if you have a Sun Fury Protector in the deck, which you might. I have seen Demon Lock run them. Actually, I run Sun Fury in my Demon Lock. Hmm. We didn't saw it yet, I guess. No, we didn't. Hmm. Well, the killbot is not the exact, uh, exactly the best though. Yeah, and 15 lives. Doesn't feel good, I guess. Again, the well played. Yeah. That was 3 0. 3 0. And 3 0 on the wild lock. Got 3 0 to get. Mm -hmm. The second time, yeah. After Savasian, it's a different version. Yeah, it is just a bit. It has some good matchups, but if you go into the wrong lineup, I think mm. it can be really hard. Sixo yeah. was the one that managed to pull mm -hmm. Demon Heart being efficient. All right, well, uh, what's going to go down is uh, Sho will have another chance mm -hmm. to beat Life Coach. And this time it'll matter mm -hmm. because they're, they're playing for the playoff mm -hmm. spot. And that'll be the last match of the day. Really but uh, we're going to we're gonna get yeah. some thoughts from uh, Sho here in uh, just a second mm -hmm. before we, uh, we take a bit of a break and get to that last game. Mm. Apparently, we're doing a <laughs> cockfight after the interview. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I haven't been briefed on what this means, but you guys are welcome to stay tuned and see. <laughs> what are you saying, Crip? Come, Come on, on Crip. <laughs> Children watch this, Crip. I don't think so. Come on. Okay, so we have show here. First, congrats on the series 3 owing. How do you feel now, man? Well, this is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, he was very unlucky. Yeah. As you saw. And, uh, well,. My next matchup is really bad though, because my lineup is really shit against Life Coach. You have to beat Life Coach like, again. He, he has 3 0 me. Mm -hmm. Even though he drew like better than me, uh, I think his lineup is like much, much better. So mm. it's going to be really, really tough. Yeah, it's still yeah. Hearthstone. <laughs> On a scale from 1 to OP Ope, how much do you like Dr. Boom? Uh, <laughs> uh, I like when I play it, but uh, in ca the card in general is mm -hmm. really bad, you know. Really? It did good work oh, for you, really really man. Good. I mean, really we, 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 just, we just did a quick tally <laughs> at the end of the last balance. game. Uh, y your Dr. Boom killed a heal bot, a sludge belcher, <laughs> his Dr. Boom, and a shadow flame, and a full turn. And it won that your game one. Balanced to me. It won your game one. <laughs> seems pretty balanced. <laughs> <laughs> it won your game one with that oh, hit. That like, game oh, yeah. one. That Dr. Boom killed the, fire. That was killed the Inferno <laughs> and four face, which is exactly how much you needed to win. <laughs> yeah. I know. I think it should be there. You have to go yeah. for the 50-50 rug. For for someone who has saved Doctor Boom for months be? and now has three, uh, I think it also should be nerfed. Mm. Oh, yeah. I have to I have to cash in on that dust. 
How many do you have? I think I have three. Three? Yeah. Golden? Uh, I only have a golden one. Uh, did yeah. you craft it or did you get it from a pack? No, at the start, if, if I got it from a pack, I didn't craft it. But if I crafted a legendary, I always craft it golden because otherwise it's not worth it. Mm. It's true, though. Like the, All the golden cards, they cost four times as much golden, but legendaries only cost twice as much. It's a bro deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go get that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see you mm. soon. And Yeah, hopefully we'll see each other soon. But mm -hmm. yeah. I would say my chances are like 20%. Mm -hmm. Really? 20%? Yeah. Well, what is it so bad about the matchups? Like, what, may, maybe we can go into that a little bit because I mean, we say the matchups are bad. We laugh about it. Yeah, the matchups are bad, but I have I have little clue to what's going on with that uh, outside of you getting three owed fine. But um, <laughs> like the the strategy going in, like what is so bad about it? Yeah, so he's gonna ban my handlock, and I'm gonna have warrior, druid, and uh, make mage left. Mm -hmm. um, he has he has paladin. Uh, Druid and Make Mage, right? Yeah, so, and Warlock. Uh, yeah, and Warlock. Oh, so you already said the ban. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm good, gonna, good job, Show. Good yeah. job. <laughs> You're so, in the right uh, way to win. So, anyway, he's, like, my Make Mage should be good against his Druid, right? Mm -hmm. But he has Castle Mystic, so that helps him a lot. It certainly helped that. him last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and also his Paladin has Castle Mystic, so my Mech Mage is actually not mm -hmm. good against those. Well, it's but if card. he doesn't draw it... It's one yeah, card. He, doesn't do it. Mm. he just mm -hmm. has to not draw but it. it helps tremendously. Yeah. If you draw it. If you draw it. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if yeah. you just start with that card and uh, have it in your opening hand, you can just keep it. And uh, basically, the the reason why Mech Mage is so good against Druid is Mirantity. And if you can steal mm -hmm. that, that's like... The swing the game. Yeah, it really flips That's it around. That's totally true, yeah. yeah. And then I have Warrior against his, which is bad against Paladin, Druid, and his Mech Mage. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. it's uh, not bad against it's, 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 it's winnable. We're going to talk a little bit closer to the uh, mic. We're missing you. Hmm? you got to shove that mic really, really close to your mouth. Oh, okay, there. sorry. There you go. There sorry. you go. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you really don't like your lineup at this moment? moment. No, I really agree with my face, decision. Coach. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Well, it's hard though. Well, it got you this far. I mean, um, is is there really a perfect lineup to beat the whole range of all the people that you've played against? No, today? there there's not. But yeah. uh, like, if you if you could see all the classes, or mm -hmm. you could make a perfect lineup after seeing all the classes by now. Like, it's probably mm -hmm. a lot of druids. So you should probably target the druids here. Oh, That's so the Reyna strategy mm -hmm. was right after all. Did Reyna do that? Apparently, it didn't but he work didn't for him much. <laughs> oh, okay, it didn't work for him, but he didn't face druids. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, but I can agree with the feeling. I, I had the same. I had the first day. I felt that I had really good lineups against my opponents, and today I felt also that I had some really hard uh, lineups against my opponents. So yeah, I agree with that, and it, it is hard because yeah, people are playing so much different stuff, especially in this format with conquest with a ban and. Mm. Yeah, it's the band really messed yeah. me up, to mm -hmm. be honest. Have you have you found any any player in the tournament so far to have a particularly good lineup against the the, the field? I think Life Coach lineup is really good, even though he lost to Alesh. I think his lineup was better than uh, Alesh. He mm -hmm. should have won that. Oh, actually. why do you think he didn't? Well, uh, he Alesh had like face hunter, which can always win against anything, and uh, make mage as well. And what I think, else that, did I think that Alesh had to win like two unfavorable matchups in the last part, mm -hmm. and Life Coach was a little bit favored. I still f think that Six O's lineup is the best until now, both of the tournament, Turn like okay. seeing all the classes and what happened. Well, I believe Six O qualified. Actually, I really want to take a uh, look at the groups uh, beforehand, but we didn't get a get a chance. Let me update them here, because um, again, we we only uh, we only cast half the tournament so far on this stream. Um, so it looks like uh, Group B is finalized as well. We have Ignite and Lothar going through, uh, as we know from earlier, Orange and Sixo is going mm -hmm. through. Um, Alesh and Life Coach. And then uh, Life Coach against. Oh Shio right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. What am I? What am I saying? Yeah. And in sorry, group, sorry, show. And in Group D, I know that no Oskaka won the first match. We're just going with the odds right? here. You said eighty percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Group B is not not yet updated, yeah. but we we did hear that was Kaka won his first game. Yeah, against Firebat. Yeah. Okay, so that's still going on. We'll probably mm -hmm. see that. Uh, but also, the what's mm -hmm. what's important is uh, as these players are being knocked out, uh, their decks and all the all the information is going up on the website. So if you guys are interested mm -hmm. to see exactly 
uh, what these guys are heading off with because it's, as we see, like you know, it's it's, it's Hearthstone. Um, some players just get knocked out for uh, unfortunate things mm -hmm. happening to them. So you know, there's there's a lot of cool stuff that that we've uh, run to this tournament, and uh, it's it's worth to just take a quick mm -hmm. quick take a quick glance at those decks. And how is the format for tomorrow? Will first place play, play versus the second place, or I guess it will. Now be. it's it's been a while, but what I remember. Um, I think I think it's fairly random in terms of the in terms of the placements, isn't it? Oh, it's always first versus second. I see. So it's it's a random first place against a random second place. Can they be in the same group? Uh, uh, well, if it's random, I suppose so. Yeah. Um, and it is best of seven, right? Yes, tomorrow? that's 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 very important. It is a slightly different format. Uh, oh, we see the new wing we, we cards. See, we Ooh. see the new... Well, the probably not. Boss. From from what ah. we've talked to the players, we mm. probably won't see much of uh, the new wing cards, but we will mm. see uh, possibly new or different decks. But we also, because it is a best of seven, we will see each player coming forth with more decks. And that's that's a mm -hmm. little bit uh, different. What do you think about that, Joe? You, you, you excited about tomorrow? Do you think you we'll be seeing many, many new cards? Oh, maybe Im Kang Boss. You think that's but the only I, one? I don't, I don't think uh, like many people have the balls to bring it, actually, because they didn't have the chance to test it, so they really actually don't mm -hmm. really know how good it is. But it looks good on paper, but... Mm -hmm. Now, I know I know some players who try really hard, they actually um, they use software that kind of mimics the Hearthstone client to test cards before they wow. come out. Do you think pro players get into this frequently? I you, didn't you, do. you could have tested the cards that are about to come out. I didn't do that, but All some right. tryhards probably did. <laughs> All right. Well, you can just use pen and paper. Pen and paper. No, no, mm. no but nobody has the effort to do that these days. But uh, we have been informed that the cockfight is ready. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know the legality of what you guys are about to witness, but uh, I imagine there's some entertainment value to it. So why don't we, uh, why don't we take a break from actual Hearthstone and check that out? <laughs> okay, all right. I think we are live. <laughs> Welcome here to our uh, cockfight. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. These guys have been playing poker. Who's up in poker? Well, I think I think Kuman oh. is like way ahead. Well, Faramir is going to get his money back now. <laughs> and it's a best of five. Actually, I'm a little bit afraid. Can we? Can I yeah, go a little no, bit to the back? Wow, Kuman is already losing without fighting. <laughs> <laughs> he has no balance, man. <laughs> well, and. He didn't even drink. That's uh, that's uh, but it's a best of five, and I would say we just saw right. Huh? It's your decision. Let's go. And then you have to leave there. Bets are bets on the table. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. One zero for the big guy here. Okay, we keep going. Oh! 1-1. One, one. They aren't very brave, are they? They are not walking yeah, forward yeah, yeah. at all. Oh, oh. Oh! oh. Hey, hey. They're getting better. Yeah, yeah but, but, uh, but Kungen is he's actually not on the, on the stick, right? He's oh, cheating. you gotta have your feet on. What are you doing? Oh, wait, he too, he too. That oh. point is invalid. Oh, wait, That's wait, wait. This is a re-game. It's 1-1 one, one, once it's again. One, one. You were all the time. So, yeah, but okay, but okay, 2-1, but this time without standing on it. That's right, stand on the wood. Okay. Yeah, move forward. Go, go, move forward a little bit <laughs> if you can. Move forward. All right, there you go. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> it was the camera guy on top of it. <laughs> Okay, what is it? Uh, uh, what, again, draw, yeah. It's a tie, it's a tie. Best of five, what is it? 2 1 still. <laughs> what is it? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Is that match point? It's 2 2. It's 2 2, right? It is 2 2. Okay. <laughs> it's, oh it's my so god, ridiculous. they can't balance at all. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Is that already happening? Come on, guys. Don't be together. Wait, okay. And go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> he actually asked him if he won. Yeah, it's 2 2. Okay. Wait, is it 2 2 or just Faramir win? It's the longest 2 2 I've ever yeah. seen. Huh? So let's see. I These guys are going to rope right now. <laughs> oh, Kungan's going down. <laughs> oh! That was a tie again. That's a tie. Say. I've never seen so many draws at a Hearthstone <laughs> tournament. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh! oh. GG! All right, guys. He's the greatest American gladiator I've ever <laughs> seen, man. That was a very close 3 2 with a lot of ties here. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, cockfight is over. That was fantastic. That was, fantastic. That was the greatest Hearthstone match of the day. <laughs> uh, the closest to is what Froden said. I have never seen two angrier chickens. <laughs> uh, I would say we're done with that here. Yeah. And keep rolling. I think we go into a small commercial also. I don't know, but uh, yeah, see you soon.